Hey, what is going on guys? It's Young here and today I'm back with another Fortnite video and in today's video I want to share with you guys a setting that if you guys don't already have on You're really missing out in a setting that is really going to help you improve as a player And it's going to help prevent you from getting third partied constantly and will help you win way more games So definitely watch this video to the end if you guys don't already have this setting on because it is super helpful and a must have for every player here in Fortnite and real quick before we get into the video, I have a V-Buck giveaway. I bought a ton of these V-Buck cards for you guys to have. If you guys would like to receive a card and enter the giveaway, all you guys have to do is simply drop a like on this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell and drop a comment down below of either your Xbox gamer tag PSN gamer tag or epic account. I will be giving out one of these cards every single Friday I will share the screenshot of the winner in the video So make sure you guys stay updated if you are interested in winning free V bucks And lastly if you guys want to support me in the item shop Just go down to the bottom right hit on support a creator type in creator code young humor And you guys will have me supported in the item shop as a creator and all right guys, let's get right to the video Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys two settings that you guys have to use if you haven't tried out already. So going into my settings, the two settings I want to talk about specifically that are just so crucial this season is going to be the audio tab and it's going to be the 3D headphones sound. And under that is going to be the visual audio effects, which I know a lot of you guys may use already. But if you guys don't, these are two really important settings to give a try because they make such a huge difference. And I want to talk about both of these settings in this video. So the first one being is the 3D headphones. Now you can have these on or off. Now with this, it's really cool because it allows you when you have this setting on, it's much more accurate to tell exactly where an enemy is, whether they're to the left of you, above you, below you, whatever the case may be. So this setting is really great if you do struggle in games with just hearing other players and just their specific location. So if you ever had a game where you thought some someone was directly above you or to your left, but then they were actually kind of in front of you or even to your right. This setting is a really great setting to try out. You can have it on or off. When you have it on, it's really great for or hearing where exactly other players are, but it just sounds a little bit different than having it off. So it really is a personal preference whether you use it, but there is a really great advantage to using it. But visual sound effects is a setting that if you don't already use and have on, you want to make sure that you have this setting on because it is just so, so good for a lot of reasons. And I want to talk about some of the reasons in this video, why this setting is a must have for every single player. Because I know a lot of you guys may have this setting on already, but if you don't, you definitely want to slap this thing on because it is just the, one of the best settings that they have in this game. And some of the reasons which, and I want to talk about right now, some of the reasons why you want to have visual sound effects on, even if you can hear other players just fine. So a couple of reasons, the first one being is you're going to be able to see where enemies are a lot a uh, lot faster because you're going to be able to see the audio cue even before you hear them unless you have your headphones on a billion level audio which almost no one does even if you can hear footsteps usually pretty clearly you're going to be able to see them a lot sooner than before and it's really helpful as well because it shows you the exact direction in which the footsteps are coming from so you're never confused if it's to your right to your left or in front of you or behind you you know exactly where they are because you can get a visual cue on your screen and of course you still want to listen for footsteps to try to hear where they are as well but it's really great to have the indicator and i use it mostly for if i want to know how many enemies are in the area and it's also really great because it shows you exactly where gunfire is as well and it can show you where chests are, so maybe if you run through a building that's already looted, but they happen to miss one of the chests in the building, it will give you a visual audio cue of that. And as well with the visual audio effects on, when you see the footsteps, the more clear or the higher opacity the footsteps are on your screen. So the more clear that they are, the closer the enemy is towards you. So that's really helpful to know as well. If you happen to see visual audio on your screen, you're going to be able to immediately tell how close they are to you without even having to hear them. And one of the biggest reasons why I like this is because it's really helpful in 
a fight or maybe if you're playing specifically in solos you know exactly how many players are around you the only time you don't get visual audio effects is if they're crouching but a lot of the times unless they are already crouched in that corner for an extended period of time you're gonna have an idea and just know that if you see uh, if you see the visual audio effects and then you don't hear them anymore you know that they're still there in that location so that's why having visual audio effects on is just such a huge advantage but one of the biggest advantages in my opinion of visual audio effects is you know exactly when the enemy is healing which is a huge advantage in a gunfight to know who's healing and when they are because there'll be a giant plus above their head on the effects when they're trying to heal so they're trying to get off minis if they're trying to get off any type of chug splashes whatever the case may be so you know exactly once you see that indicator if you want to push them immediately or if you want to spend the time yourself getting that heal off so having these on just give you so much more information than just listening yourself because a lot of the times if they're far enough you just won't be able to hear them or maybe you sort of hear something, but you couldn't really tell. But when you have the visual audio effects on, you know 100% certain where they're coming from, when they're getting off heels, uh, when there's gunfire, which directions there are. It really, and it also shows you cars, tanks, all that type of stuff as well. So that's why this setting is a must have and why so many pros do use this setting. It can maybe get a little bit annoying if you're in maybe like an in game. On like a cash cup or if you're even like playing zone wars or something where there's like maybe eight or nine different players around you then there just could be a lot of effects on you but i still have this setting on just because i'm kind of used to it already and it doesn't bother me as much but that's the only possible downfall of this setting because otherwise it works really great and beforehand i didn't use this setting for the longest time because it used to mess up the audio pretty hard it used to make everything sound really muffled and it wasn't that good but as of pretty recently in the past couple seasons they updated the setting and made the audio sound exactly how it should so that's why i highly recommend giving this setting a try and putting it on if you haven't already gave it a try which i know a lot of you guys have but if you haven't i can't stress it enough it is such an op setting and if you aren't using it it really is going to cost you in games but with that being said, I do appreciate all you guys watching the video. If you guys could hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you guys will get notified for every single time I upload a new video. And with that being said, I really appreciate all you guys watching the video. And alright guys, I'll see you next video.